Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog, and today I'd like to teach you how to do a Mobius cast on, like the one I used here for my Omo Mobius shawl. Knitting a Mobius is kind of amazing because there's only one side, the right side, and only one edge, the bound off edge. A Mobius is knit in the round and has this half twist that makes it sort of like a three-dimensional figure eight. To show you what I mean, let's follow the bound off edge around. So we'll start here underneath the half twist. We'll follow the bound off edge around the bottom of the piece, back up over the half twist, across the top of the piece, and then this leads back down under the half twist. All the magic of a Mobius happens when you cast on. The stitches are cast on right here across the center of the piece. The first round of knitting is worked into the stitches above and below the cast on. And from there, you just continue knitting. So every round of the Mobius adds stitches across the top and then again around the stitches at the bottom. So my Omo Mobius was made using Riley by Haiku Yarn, which is super soft and drapey and works lovely for shawls. But today I'm just going to be demonstrating with some scrap yarn from my stash. I'll also be using my Addy Turbo Lace Circular Needles. I'm gonna be using 40 inch long needles today. If you're knitting something like a shawl, you're probably better off using longer ones, like 60 inches, but these show up a little bit better on camera for me. And I'll also be using a stitch marker. Like most cast-ons, a Mobius cast-on starts with a slip knot. So put the loop on your needle and make sure that your knot tightens by pulling the working yarn. If it tightens by pulling the tail, you're going to need to remake it the other way so that it tightens by pulling on the working yarn. Next, we're going to position our needles like a spring. And I have an actual little spring that we can look at to show you what I mean. So the needle in our right hand will be at the top of the spring. The cord will loop around, but it won't tie in itself. And then the needle in the, our left hand will be at the bottom of the spring. So now let's do that with our knitting needles. The needle in our right hand is at the top of the spring. The cord coils around, but it doesn't tie on itself. And then the needle in our left hand is at the front of the spring. Pinch the cord with your right hand, and then you can either let this left needle tip set on the table or fall into your lap, or if you're working with a really long cord to make a shawl, you can actually tuck this needle under your right arm to keep it out of the way. It's really important though that this needle tip does not cross through the center of the coil in either direction or your cast on won't work. So I'm gonna drop my needle under the, out of the way and next we're going to slide the slip knot down the right needle around the cord until it meets up with the needle tip on the other side. And then I'm going to tension the yarn with my left hand and hold that slip knot in place. And just be careful not to tighten that slip knot any more than it is right now because you're going to knit in that stitch later. So this is our home position. And you'll notice that this cast on is a lot like a provisional cast on, except instead of working around waist yarn, we're going to work our stitches around the cord. So bring the needle tip forward, under the cord, over the working yarn, pull the working yarn under the cord, and then do a yarn over. And just going to Pull on my working yarn and that's going to kind of flip this tail from the slip knot out of our way here. So you'll notice that we have two stitches up on the needle and they're both slanting the same direction and then the slip knot and one stitch underneath hanging on the cord. And as we're casting on, we're only going to be counting these two stitches that are up on our needle. The ones on the cord don't count for now. So let's cast on a couple more stitches. Bring the needle forward, under the cord, over the working yarn, 
pull the working yarn under the cord and then yarn over. So now we have four stitches on our needle and they're all slanting the same way. So let's continue casting on forward under the cord over the yarn, pull the yarn under the cord and then yarn over. And we'll just continue casting on until we have the appropriate number of stitches on our needle. So I'm going to keep casting on and I'll meet you once I have all my stitches on my needles. I've cast on all my stitches and I'm ready to start knitting. We're almost ready to start knitting. First, I'm going to need to slide my stitches down the cable and get some of the stitches so they're up on my left needle tip. And you're going to need to pull this cord that's under your right needle to kind of help even things out a little bit. And this first part of the first round is the tedious part. After this, things are going to get a lot easier. I need to pull that cord just a little bit more. So I can get everything evened out there. And then start pulling the stitches up my cord, or up my needle rather. And you'll notice as you're pulling the stitches up your needle, they're going to want to start leapfrogging over each other. So just go slow and make sure your stitches aren't crossing over each other. So just slow and steady and slide them up the needle. And like I said, this is the tedious part of doing a Mobius. After you get through the first part of the first round, things get way, way quicker and easier. So I'll just slide up just a few more stitches here and then we can start knitting. And that should be good for now. So before we start knitting the first stitch, it's really important to make sure to place a stitch marker onto your right needle tip. And then if you look close at this stitch that's on my left needle, this first stitch, that's the slip knot we made. And you just want to make sure that your yarn tail is hanging here to the back and it's under the needles and the cord. And now we're going to start working round one of our pattern. So you can either knit or purl into that slip knot at the beginning. It just depends on what your pattern says. For demonstration purposes here, I am just going to knit into that first slip knot there. And it may be a little bit tight, but don't worry. So work into the slip knot. And then you'll notice that after that, your stitches kind of look like mountains. They're like little triangle mountains as going down the needle. And as you're working these stitches, you're going to always want to work into the first leg of the triangle mountain. And it's okay, sometimes the first leg is going to cross behind at the back of the needle. And sometimes the first leg of the triangle mountain is going to cross over the front of the needle. And it's going to alternate as you go down your needle working your stitches. So just make sure that you're working into that first leg and you can knit or purl. So if you're going to knit, your right needle tip would go down through the triangle. If you were going to purl, you'd bring your yarn forward and then your needle tip would come up through the triangle. So it just depends on what your pattern says. Just make sure to work around the first leg of the triangle and go through the center of the triangle with your right needle. So I'm just going to knit for this demonstration. So I'm going to go find my first triangle and put my needle tip through and knit into it. Find the next triangle mountain, put my needle tip through and knit into it. 
and I'll continue sliding stitches up my left needle, finding the triangle, putting my needle through and working into it. And I'll just continue this way all the way around until I've worked all my triangles. So find the triangle, put the needle through and work into it. So I'm going to continue working all my triangles and I'll meet you when I get done. Whew. Here's the last triangle. I'm going to work that stitch. And now you'll notice that the stitch marker is dangling here on the cord. And this means that we're halfway through round one. And now things get a whole lot easier because all the stitches from this point are mounted correctly on our needle. So it's just a matter of continuing knitting and purling around in pattern. And now at this point also, the stitches should be a whole lot easier to slide up your left needle tip. You won't have to worry about them leapfrogging over each other anymore. So I'm going to knit until I get all the way to the end of the round. I finally reached my stitch marker and finished my first round of knitting. So I'm going to slip my stitch marker from left to right. And from here, I can just keep knitting in pattern and watch the magic of the Mobius appear. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a Mobius cast on. And if you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of the chilidog.com and look for my Omo shawl. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.